What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play Minecraft on iOS 12 on your iPhone or your iPad and with use of an Xbox One controller or even a PS4 controller if you'd rather use that. I've covered uh, how, to, how to use these. I'll leave the links for the video tutorials on how to connect these devices or these controllers to your device. So be sure to check out the video links in the description. Um, but a little bit of a disclaimer, in order to be able to do this, you will have to be jailbroken on iOS 12. Now for those of you that want more information about which versions of iOS 12 can be jailbroken or just jailbreak information in general, be sure to check out the jailbreak update playlist in the description where I'll keep you guys fully up to date on all the jailbreaks that come out and all the details. So, like I said guys, if you have inf or if you have questions about the jailbreak, be sure to check out that playlist link. But anyways, like I said, we will have to be installing a package uh, a tweak/application from Cydia in order to do this. If we jump into Cydia, the package is right here. It's called nControl. Uh, you will have to add a repo in order to get this. I'll leave all that information down in the description, guys. Um, but anyways, go ahead and install that and then you'll use that to connect your Xbox One controller to your iPhone. Now if you guys need more details on how to do all this, like I said I did a dedicated video on how to actually set all this up. But once you've connected your Xbox One controller, that's literally all you gotta do. Now we can go ahead and launch Minecraft. Just make sure you have Minecraft obviously installed on your on your uh, device and literally that's all we gotta do. Let's just go ahead and load this world. As you can see, I'm clearly using my Xbox One uh, controller to do this. We'll let it load up. Now, one thing I do want to mention is you will have to configure the buttons for the Xbox One controller. I did a little bit, but for some reason, the triggers don't work. So you'll have to reassign them uh, to the bumpers. So if you want breaking blocks, as you can see, you'll need to have it set up as the right bumper and if you want placing blocks you'll have to do the bumpers and then if you need to you can just use your uh, use your d-pad here to go through your inventory so you, you will have to do a little bit of setting up uh, in the uh, controller settings here just click the Xbox button go to settings go down to the controller and like I said you'll have to remap these button controls a little bit just because like I said for some reason the triggers don't work um, which is a little disappointing, but it's not a break, uh, make it or break it deal for me. You can still use the bumpers instead and just switch or switch the layout around a little bit, but still, nonetheless, being able to play Minecraft with an Xbox uh, One controller is absolutely awesome in my opinion. And that's literally all you got to do is just have that package from Cydia installed, have your controller connected, and you can play Minecraft with it and it's so cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.